Hey there, this is Sarah. I'm someone who suffered with sleep paralysis for an extremely long time, literally for as long as I can remember. It got to the point where things didn't really scare me anymore. Um, I would simply wake up and be like, oh, this again, and then just try my best to go back to sleep, no matter what I would see. If you're unlucky with sleep paralysis, you tend to dream while awake as well, so you have, have hallucinations which again I got used to and again I was just like oh this again you know I can't talk can't speak there's a scary figure in the corner of my room but you know I'll just go back to sleep it'll be fine and this continued for years and years to the point where I just didn't care anymore but then something new happened which occasionally did happen it's very rare this but you have experiences which are different from your normal experiences they're more they're more how do you explain this they're more interactive, I guess, rather than just seeing things, you have sensations of things touching you or things tugging your hair, things sitting on you, that, 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 that kind of thing. The general thing when you read up on sleep paralysis is what you get. But generally I am a sort of sleep paralysis person where I would just, I would just see things, not so much have interaction. It's very rare I have an interaction. So after years of just seeing things, um, I'm thinking, you know, I'm safe. <laughs> I was wrong. Um, so one night I woke up and I was just, I was just like, okay, can't move, can't talk. That's fine. That's fine. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just go back to sleep. You know, I, I won't have to forget about it in the morning. Everything will be fine. I was wrong. Um, s s <laughs> slowly, I could feel the the end of my bed starting to tip upwards um, and it was slightly shaking and tipping upwards and I was like okay okay that's fine just ignore it just ignore it go back to sleep you're fine you're fine this is normal completely utterly normal but then I felt the um <laughs> then what I couldn't see but something grabbed the top of my head and I could feel I could feel these nails digging into my scalp and sort of, I say sort of, I mean they were sort of dragging me towards the headboard and I have like a metal bed with bars so combined with the bed tipping up and being dragged towards the headboard, it, yeah. <laughs> So I got dragged to the bars and it got to a point where I felt as if my head was being forced between the bars. They were just trying and trying and trying to pull me through. I couldn't do anything, I couldn't move, I just felt as if I was just constantly falling. And then all of a sudden, just, just suddenly it all stopped. My bed was back to normal, I was lying down like normal, I was back where I was and I was just staring at the ceiling like, okay, it's all okay. Nice short experience, nice and done. I was wrong, <laughs> completely wrong. It, it was it was not done. Um, this is the first and only time I've experienced this, but I got stuck in a loop. And what I mean by that is that this kept happening over and over and over again for what literally felt like hours. The bed would tip up, it would shake, something would nails would like pierce my scalp and drag me towards the head bars and then suddenly I'm flat the bed flat again the flats the, the beds <laughs> the bed the bed's level again and then it would repeat over and over to the point where I thought I was going insane. <laughs> and this 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 was new. Very new. I had never experienced this before. I had had other interactions which I'll talk about another time but this this shook me up. Um, after years of nothing affected me, this really shook me up. Um, it was terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. I just saw nothing. It was just... I just... I felt them holding on, I guess. But all was well in the end, I guess. That was that. Lovely to talk with you. <laughs> I'll see you again soon. Bye.